Hey, it's Joseph with Gilsey Pixels, and I have a quick video here for you that's going to save you a lot of time if you're not using the character styles palette yet in your Photoshop mockup. So if you're a web designer, UX designer, visual designer, and you work with type in your mockups, then this video is for you. Uh, so this is a quick introduction to the character styles palette in Photoshop. And for this tutorial, I'll be using a layered PSD if you want to follow along. Uh, using the exact template that I'm using on the screen. You can hit the link beneath this video to go ahead and download the template, the, the layered Photoshop document to follow along. Um, so let's go ahead and jump in here. Uh, on my screen, uh, I have a pre-existing template here. And at any point in time, I can select any of my existing styles and override what they look like on my entire document. Now in a minute I'll show you how to create a new style, but for the purposes of this quick demonstration here, let's say I have a pre-existing document. This will really show you the, the power of the character styles palette. So let's say I want to change the H2 bootstrap heading. Now that's just a, a name I applied. You could name anything you wanted to in your document. But I'll double click on the H2 here and uh, let's select some new color. I was messing with it a minute ago, so that's why I hit the pink. Oh, look at this. Now you can see it's green, if I switch it to blue, it's blue, okay. And now I can also change the font to a different font. So as you can see across my entire document, any instance, I haven't edited this layer at all um, from the layers palette. I haven't even selected it. All I did was adjusted the style. So even if I had 20 instances of this H2 or this BS4 H2 style, it would apply it automatically to my entire document. So no more having to select a bunch of individual layers uh, just to apply the style um, on an individual layer basis. So this is a huge time saver if you're not already using it. Also, another advantage is it allows you to consistently maintain a style uh, across your mockup, much like you would with code, right? Okay, so to create a new style from scratch, uh, if you haven't already selected it, type uh, T to select the type tool from the left hand palette or you can just click on the icon the giant T from your tools palette and then I like to click and drag some people just click and start typing if I'm doing like a web interface I like to click and drag because that allows me to constrain the text to a certain width much like you would if you're actually coding uh, this this template so um, uh, let me start typing some cool new text. All right, you can barely see it on the screen. Um, pretty small. But uh, let's go ahead and click the uh, new, actually, let me, let me make that larger first. Let's get my style. All right, cool. That's right, a little bit larger. Um, let me change the font here. Let's go with Helvetica, because why not? How about Helvetica new? There we go. Okay, cool. Uh, I like how that looks, so I will click uh, the accept, the check mark. And now I've got my cool new text here. And um, actually, just for example purposes, let's make this italic just so it's different from everything else on my screen. Okay, excellent. So now uh, let's say I, I want to actually um, apply a style to this that I can use elsewhere, so I have my own brand new style. I'll just click the, now with this layer selected, I'll click the icon down here to create a new character style. So I'll click it and boom, there's my new character style. I can name my character style. Something cool. Awesome. Nice long one. There we go. So there you go. I've created my new character style. Uh, and of course, uh, if I want to apply a different style to it, I can go ahead and click on a different style. Um, from any, any of my other styles I already have in character styles and or return to it. Well, there you have it. I hope that this uh, video has been helpful for you. Um, again, it's it was really just an introduction to the character styles palette. Now, there's more to this palette. Um, there's more things you can do with it, but really what I covered here should be enough um, to really be helpful uh, to get your feet wet, to get you saving time uh, if you haven't used the palette before. So. Uh, again, I hope this video was helpful. Uh, if you want to make sure that you catch any more videos like this, subscribe to my newsletter. 
Uh, there's a link beneath this video, uh, or you can subscribe on YouTube as well. And uh, good luck on your design project.